Hey traders, I'm about to trade GME. Yes, I will trade it again today. Why? Because it's gapping up more than 4% and when GME is gapping up, everybody's watching. That's why you want to trade it and it should be a gap and go, meaning it gapped up, it's coming down. It's great because you want to see the sellers getting out of the way. You want to see them getting out and then you want the buyers and the buyers are going to be the big numbers today. Not only today because it's GME. Now you look for a technical reversal, you look for a move up and then when it starts moving, higher just like it does now you look for the point of no return and you're going to click that button it's going to happen right now and I am long 4,000 shares expecting it to continue move over the highs and you know just go over so I'm up three grand as you can see here five grand six grand seven grand getting ready to the point where I will take my partial eight grand and now small pullback took my partial here left just 400 shares. Now it's a gap and go trade. You've seen me trading gaps and goes lots of times but the thing is this is a gap and go in GME and why is that more important? Because it's not just a gap and go. A lot of people are watching it. The volume is great. Almost 2 million shares right now and that's why when you trade a stock like GME it's likely to succeed. Most people will trade it it will succeed better. And the same applies for a stock like Tesla. So take a look at Tesla. When you have Tesla trending up the way it does, look at this beautiful technical formation. It is trending higher. You can see that the buyers are getting more and more aggressive. Initially, they let it come all the way down to here to 990. Now they let it come only to 995. Now we have a very nice cup and handle technical formation for a long trade. And again, it's Tesla. Lots of people a lot of people are watching this. It's, we are not the only one that watches this stock. It's not just like a cup and handle in another stock. So if it's going to move over 1005, I'm going to buy it. It's getting there right now, clicking, and I'm long 600 shares. Normally, you see me buying much bigger size. Now, why is that? I'm having a great day and I'm not going to let a, tra a trade like Tesla take me down. Now, you see that the initial move was down here. I'm down like three grand and now it's getting back again. This is noise. You need to survive noise. And it is moving in the direction where I anticipated. It's now moving back again. I'm back green. It's getting to the highs and it's taking over the highs. And why does this happen? It happens because it's Tesla and because a lot of people are watching it. So it's not just a technical formation here of a nice cup and handle. Now I'm up $4,000. I'm looking for the first point of relief, which is coming right now, taking my partial, leaving 100 shares. Now, again, remember when you have a beautiful technical formation and it's it is beautiful cup and handle formation here. It's not just the case of the technical formation. It's how many people are watching this technical formation. So if it's GME or it's Tesla, you would expect more and more people to watch this technical formation and help you once it gets to that point. So you expect a big move. Don't expect a long, you know, one hour process. It's a small few minutes or maybe a few seconds straight. And that's it. So I just made uh, two great trades in Tesla and GME and these were not my only trades today. You can see the results over here. Tesla was great, GME was great, but my best trade today was actually a short in Adobe. You can see I'm up more than 14 grand and uh, take a look at Nvidia and the small winner in NVAX, five out of five winners. I really enjoyed my day today. If you did like this video, just $30,000 over, I mean, less than one hour, please, please give me a like. More likes helps my channel. More people in the channel helps people learn more about day trading. So I hope you liked it and I hope you can support my channel with a like. And anyway, you can subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. So there's a button right here. You can hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And uh, please remember, it may seem easy. It is not. It is extremely hard. Trading is extremely hard. Please start with a demo. There are links right here below to a demo account of Colmex, the same platform I'm trading, which I think is the world's best platform. Judge for yourself, but start with a demo. Don't risk your hard earned money. Most people lose when they start out. Most people are losing a much more than they can afford to lose, which is a reason why you should start with a demo account. And please remember, my results are very, very not typical. I'm trading for more than 22 years and it may seem again easy, it is not. So please be careful. It is very risky to become a trader, a successful trader. Thank you again and I'll see you in my next video.